family. How we doing? Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Oh my days. I went on a ride and my neck is strained. This was how, how I expected to start this life. Hello, is anyone there? Hi, how we doing? Let me know if you hear me. Let me know if you see me. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? How are we doing, family? Yay, you guys are joining now. How are we doing? Can you guys hear me okay? Can you all hear me okay? Okay, thank you. Hi, Muiwa. How are you? Hi, Susanna. Hi. Hi, King. How we doing? <sighs> Yo, sorry if you see me bending. I went on a ride at a theme park today. And so my I strained my neck. So I'm actually very uncomfortable. Honestly, I don't want this live to be too long. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Just wanted to check in and then, you know, share my testimony. I'm sure you can see from the title of this video. I called it testimony time. But before I go into all of that, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Let's use about five minutes to familiarize ourselves with each other again. I know it's been a while. Have you guys missed me? now that you have taken time off of me and you've been able to miss me what do you miss about my content what do you want me to come back and give you more of um i also had a thing oh yeah and do you have any questions for me do you have anything you want me to answer um let me know let me know let me know hmm. Mama. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. What what is a remedy for sprained neck? Like I can just feel it like oh right down here, like down this side, the right side of my neck, down to my shoulder. It's not even funny. Mm, let me see what's going on in the chat. Evasalam said, Aku, where have you been? I really missed you, no cap. I missed you too. Have you seen my um, things are changing live? I think I don't think you saw the live I did in October. I told you guys I was taking a one... Well, did I mention the time? I did say I was just taking a break off YouTube. But yeah, it's going to be a one year. It's been a one year break, really and truly. Um, Stephanie said, I miss your PH vlogs. I live in Lagos, so how are we going to do it? <laughs> but of course... Expect pH, expect pH vlogs from me Christmas and stuff like that. You will soon hear or see Omar because I just heard his voice. So I think he's home. Um, King said, no, we haven't missed you. Go and marry Brains and Hammers. Life update. Guys, I've left Brains and Hammers. I do plan on focusing on youtube full-time content creation full-time i'm still going to be doing real estate videos so i may still do some work with brains and hammers but i just don't want to be exclusive to one developer anymore so don't worry there's so much to update you guys on and i said you need a massage for your neck yes i think i do as well eva salam said the family time outings your nephew big daddy your voice you motivated me and i started my own channel wow i will definitely 
check out your own channel too yes please like this video please engage i can see that there are 22 people online but y'all ain't talking to me why anyways without further ado let's get into it because my neck pain can't even do this for too long um so i wanted to do this live video because on this day last year 2021 my whole life changed i feel like you know god saved my life and captured my soul if i'll put it like that <laughs> Y'all, oh my days, you know, I just noticed that you've been seeing my laptop this whole time. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, I need to share my testimony because one year ago today, I had a very bad accident, like a near fatal accident. Nobody could believe that I even survived the accident, really and truly. Like, it was just after the tour, NSAS tour and um yeah i was coming home after the club on a wednesday night i went to crossroads so random and i slept off at the wheel drunk high god knows what i was just gone slept off at the wheel totally wrecked my car and i came out without a scratch and you know that was the day i just realized that you know what this lifestyle i'm living is not very um, conducive for my future and it also made me feel like you know God is definitely invested and interested in my life because it didn't make sense that I came out on I didn't even come out with neck pain this neck pain I'm even having right now I didn't even have it after the accident like you know I came out untouched but what was touched was my soul because I was so convicted and I just felt like you know what I need to change my life and that is where this whole journey began of me testifying please go back and watch my things are changing video because i really opened up about you know my struggles and my plans for transformation and all glory to god really and truly this year has been a success like i have just kept changing for the better and i can't wait to get back fully in october and share you know everything that's been going on with you guys but yeah i felt led to share this testimony because it's a year later and thank god i've been able to continue on the pathway to positive change and you know i just hope it can inspire somebody as well i posted a picture yesterday uh, when i was telling you guys i was going to come live about how um you know like i can't remember the exact quote and i'm currently on the phone but it was basically like you know you know it's time for a change when you yourself get tired of your own shit like you know and i feel like for a while i've been tired of my own shit like at least for like three two three years i have been tired of just the negative cycles and patterns that i started noticing were repeating themselves in my life and you know, I feel like I kept trying to change. I kept trying to do things by myself on my own and it wasn't working. And until I decided to hand over my life to God that I've been able to be consistent about the changes that I'm making. Like, so if you're feeling like that as well, there is hope. There is a sin. <laughs> Give it all to God. Like you can't do it on your own. Your flesh is not sufficient for you. That's just the truth of the matter. Like, let the spirit take over. Let God take over your life and you will see the results. Like, there's this there's this um, verse in the Bible that says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Literally, the accident I had allowed me to taste and see that the Lord is good. And now I feel like, you know, I'm always willing to defer to him. I'm always willing to put him first because I trust him. He has shown me without a doubt that he loves me. And he wants to take care of me. And, you know, I feel like, man, I'm sorry if my energy is off. This thing is going down my spine. I don't even know why. <laughs> like, I just had a sharp pain. But yeah, um, you know, I trust God wholeheartedly after that whole incident. And I feel like I want to share my testimony to hopefully encourage somebody else to do same i feel like some people have incidents like this and it doesn't convict them it doesn't touch them so fair enough like like i said i was also tired of my own bullshit like 
but if you want to be very honest with yourself you will have to look through your life look back on your life and you'll see that there's some patterns that can't serve you anymore and you need to let them go and yeah the best way to let it go is by giving it to god so yeah that's what i just wanted to give you guys a quick update and plans for the future so i am challenging myself for guys you know i was doing weekly vlogging and um yeah i was still trying to work um i was still trying to work with like an employer i was still trying to work in paid employment i do content creation but i have decided not even i've decided also god who instructed me that i am going to attempt i'm saying attempt but really actually i believe i will do it i'm going to start doing daily vlogging so from the 20th no it's the 22nd from 22nd of october i am going to be vlogging every single day at least for one year i pray so even if some days i just have to come and do a live stream i'm going to do that some days will be you know vlogs i feel like when i come back in october i will do a proper you know what happened in the past year why my life changed all of that um i'm just seeing comments which i will go back and respond to how long have i been online 11 minutes yeah so daily vlogging let me know what you think about that even me i'm a bit intimidated but it feels like what i need to do i really want to dedicate i've never dedicated a full year to just doing youtube full time that is all i'm giving my energy to so that's what i want to do and i feel like go hard or go home so yeah let me catch up on the comments because i really don't want to be online for too long when you said what do you love the most about real estate i love the fact that you see like the development happening right before your very eyes you guys know i had a human rights background and part of why i left the human rights field at the time i did was because i felt frustrated like i felt like i kept working i kept putting in my energy and my resources my time and you know i was not reaping any results like i was not seeing the progress but with real estate you can actually see the building going from stage to stage see the family move into the house see them furnish the house everything and then the commission to his suites let me also be honest about that part and i said thank god you survived the accident and you have been able to change for the better honestly thank god stephanie said thank god for his deliverance it's not too late to start on a new slate it's never too late never ever ever too late and Masalam said great testimony you are too loaded to be empty it's too late to fail go aku thank you Kiki said, thank God for your life. Wow, that sounds like a fatal accident. Is that why you have been off YouTube for a minute? No, I've been off YouTube um, because I'm on a sobriety journey. I shared that in my Things Are Changing live stream. So please watch that. Um, I felt like, you know, I didn't want to be unauthentic about my journey. And I also didn't want to keep like, feeding off of people's attention i don't know how to explain it like i wanted to just do this for myself and then come back and share not to be doing it live it would have been too much pressure or i would have been lying or god knows what so yeah because of my sobriety journey is why i've been off youtube um king said thank you for sharing aku you're welcome basi said it's irresponsible to drive when drunk though because you can have killed someone dear to others good to know it made you change though i'll take that well done hmm. i didn't even um talk about that aspect the fact that you know i didn't hit any because i literally moved from one side of the road to the other side of the road so the fact that i didn't hit anybody aside from god saving my life the fact that i didn't save anybody I said save. The fact I didn't hit anybody, the fact I didn't hit any car, the fact I didn't hit anything. The only thing I hit was my conscience. So honestly, it is so reckless. But the truth is that it's what happens in Nigeria. Like, you know, there are no... Even if you pass police on the way, you give him one key and keep him moving. Like, who is checking if you've been drinking, if you've been smoking, if you've been doing any of the above? Like, it's unfortunate. But of course, yeah, I do get what you're saying. And thank God, really and truly. 
um Avansalam said wow daily vlogging that's a lot it's definitely gonna be a lot too um Prasha said keep on keeping on thank you guys my back is killing me ah no this thing is not funny i'm so sorry that this live is going like this but i had to share this thing today because today is a day and you know the one year mark was important to me um king said let god lead you about the daily vlogging definitely so like i said it is god that puts it in my heart and yeah i know he will give me the power and the strength to do it um Evasanam said who else noticed or is it just me her face is glowing <laughs> thank you maybe it's london no? i'm in london nigerian sun is not hitting me right now guys maybe that's why but thank you favor said hey aku i hope you're good been popping up on your ig page to check in on you from time to time be sure you're doing well i'm always glad to see you i thank you i appreciate you i actually do appreciate so many people have sent me messages on instagram saying that they miss me on youtube and all of that oh and i also wanted to thank you guys i don't know if you saw the pickers blind date thing i did with um paul bridges i got so many like good feedback even people from my youtube saying hey i watch her on youtube things like that so it really gave me good traction and i'm so grateful for the support i know i'm so inconsistent but you guys are always there and that's what family is so i don't take it for granted honestly um Prasha said donna ah oh, that means how are you doing <laughs> I do go send love hearts heart right back to you. Ever since I said that she has less makeup on. I really don't have makeup on, just my brows and my and my lashes. Oh, if you're talking about my acne journey, I shared before now that I was using raw accutane. I used raw accutane for five months, and then I use uh, it's like an eczema cream, but I use it as a face wash. It's called Demo 500 and then La Roche-Posay sunscreen. That's about it. Um, my dermatologist asked me to start incorporating azelaic acid. So there's this Skinoren azelaic acid 20% that I've been using. But it actually irritates my skin and I'm breaking out even a little bit. So I don't know if that acid is really working for me. But I'll also give you guys an updated acne journey video when I'm back. This live is just to share my testimony. Um, Basi said, what's written on your hand bangle, if you don't mind to share? Of course, I don't mind. It says, my God is good and kind to me. Because God is good and kind to me. Next level. This is Harvesters. That's the church I attend in Lagos. Guys, I'm a born again oh, these days. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> But when I get back, you will understand. So even part of my daily vlogging, if you know you don't like to hear about Jesus, just unsubscribe from me now because I'm carrying Jesus on my head. Jesus has captured my whole heart as in, hey, no no other love can compare. Um, Eva Salem said, Aku, what's your IG handle? My IG handle is Akube, A-K-U-B-E-Y-Y. -Y. Please follow me, even though I'm on a break this August in the sense of like, I just felt like detoxing. So I'm not online in the month of August, but um, I'll be posting my reel at the end of, at the beginning of September. Guys, I'm really going to have to log off soon because my neck is unbearable. Like, ah, and I think this position I'm sitting in as well is not even helping matters. So I'll log up in one minute because it's 19 minutes so far. So let's just keep it as 20 minutes. King said, we love Jesus. I love that. This is a Jesus loving family. CA said, Aku is very lucky that guardian angel came to protect her during the car crash. See what happened to the American actress Anne Hesh who crashed her car full speed into a house and later died in hospital. Honestly, even as you just even mentioned this, and I just even thought of one other lady that just recently had a car crash that I think killed six people. Anything could have happened, man. Anything could have happened. That's why I know it was God. Nobody can tell me any other thing. Like, why did I come out untouched? Why did I not harm anybody? And in fact, you know, even my car, I didn't even have to pay the bill because a month before, 
my ex had done my car insurance what are the odds so like car insurance covered it it was like that whole accident was just meant to wake me up and glory be to god anyways guys it's 20 minutes so i'm gonna log off now thank you for being online i know it's a friday night people obviously have plans so thank you for taking your time to be with me and we shall catch up in october love you